y'all this portion of the video is sponsored by skims i have had the pleasure of working with skims over the past few months it has been such an amazing experience you all know i absolutely love skims i have been telling y'all about skims over the last few months and even before skims is a solution-based oriented brand creating the next generation of underwear, loungewear, and shapewear. They are setting new standards by finding solutions for everybody. Y'all, Skims offers a complete bra solution that meets every need and style, and I am not exaggerating. First of all, they offer 62 sizes of bras, starting from a 38 all the way to a 46 H. I myself have three new Skims bras I want to share with you and tell you about. I like the color Onyx when it comes to my bras. I have been wearing Skims for years, y'all, and I'm just recently trying their bras. I've probably been wearing their bras for probably about four to five months now. I started off with the Fits Everybody t-shirt bra. That's like my everyday bra. It's so comfortable. Absolutely love that bra. And I moved on to three new ones. This bra is the Fits Everybody plunge bra this is a lightly lined buttery soft scoop bra so soft this is the weightless scoop bra this bra is unique because it's designed with a new 3d woven knit foam that keeps you comfortable while still giving like this sexy shape you just gotta try it so weightless like truly it's kind of like I don't want to say like a transparent, but it's like something I've never seen before. This bra is also designed with the soft, supportive underwire and adjustable straps. And I don't know about y'all, but I love me a good adjustable strap. I just noticed this, but this bra also has the Skims logo right there, which is super cute. Like just like a nice touch. I love this bra. I love the fact that I have options and they're all just super comfortable and they all just do a little something different last but not least we have the no show underline balconet bra she is so sexy this bra makes me feel so good when i have it on i absolutely love this bra this is the type of bra you wear when you really don't want to wear a bra this bra has like a seamless raw edge finish which makes it like invisible under clothing this bra is really going to give you that no bra feel and look Another thing I absolutely love about this bra is the back support. This bra features four prongs in the back, which is going to give you that extra support in the back. Another thing I wanted to mention is that these bras come in 10 different colors, not including the limited edition colors. Gams is creating the next generation of underwear and bras for everybody, so believe the hype. Gams has over 100,000 five-star reviews for a reason. So, click the link in my description box to check out Skims Bras. Plus, you can get free shipping on orders over $75. After you place your order, please be sure to let them know I sent you. All you have to do is select YouTube in the drop-down box on the survey. Click my channel name. I am Chelsea Janae. And that's it. Oh, y'all, one more thing. If you are looking for a gift for your Valentine or yourself, Skims just launched their best Valentine's Day shop ever. So definitely make sure you check that out at skims.com. Hey y'all, welcome and welcome back to my channel. I'm Chelsea if you're new and welcome back to another vlog. I am rushing out the house. I have a list full of things I need to do today and the first thing being get a wax. So that's what I'm about to do. I'm running a little bit behind so that's why I'm kind of rushing on the intro but I wanted to let y'all know what was going on. I'm gonna show y'all my outfit and we're gonna head out. All right, so this sweater comes from H&M. These pants come from ASOS. I got on my ballerina flats. Those come from um, ASOS as well. My little Chanel necklace. These earrings are from Mahi, David Ehrman, JBW, Cartier, Chanel bag, yeah. That's the outfit. Let's go. I didn't even tell y'all that my wax girl is gone. So I'm about to go get a wax by somebody completely new. I'm kind of nervous because, <laughs> yeah, I'm just kind of nervous. But everybody has different techniques. The way my old girl used to do it, it did not hurt. I liked her. She was cool. You know, we just talked about regular stuff. I called to make my appointment. It was like, oh, she's not here anymore. And I'm like, I really feel like they need to send like, like, I...
this. The wig was about to fly off, y'all, with me laying down. Um, she was cool. I liked her. Um, everything was good. I made my appointment to come back in four weeks. And now we're going to go to, these are the things I want to do today. Go to get a wax. Go to Trader Joe's. From Trader Joe's, I wanted to get rice and tulips. <laughs> I wanted to go to the thrift store. And I also want to go to Dollar Tree. I'm debating. I'm debating whether I should just go ahead and fill the car up or just put a little bit in so I can go. So I can get the fuck. Oh my god, I think there's something on y'all. Hold on. I think I'm just going to. So I got a 20 right here. I don't know. I'm just gonna I think I'm gonna start paying with gas paying for gas with cash because I don't know gas they should give me like sketchy vibes 40 on 3 alright y'all we got our gas It's starting to warm up outside. It's starting to warm up outside. And I got on this sweater and it is so warm. <sighs> but I just left Trader Joe's. Got my flowers. Very excited about that. Just going in there and seeing all those pretty flowers. Just really, really made me feel happy. So picked out the ones I want. And now we're going to Trader Joe's. No, we're not. We just left Trader Joe's. We're going to Goodwill. Because I just want to do some thrifting. I just want to find like some cute little unique pieces um, for my home. I bought a whole bunch of flowers so maybe I can find like a little vase or something. So that's what we're about to do. That's what we're about to do. Alright y'all. Oh my goodness. Y'all can't even freaking see me. Hold on. I'm making a quick pit stop because I need something from Five Below. Hopefully they have it. For the vision board party, y'all, the vision board party is almost here. That's exciting. Very, very excited. Very nervous. But, yeah, hopefully they got what I'm looking for. Five below. They did not have what I was looking for. I fear that I might have purchased all of them. Finally home, y'all. OMG. I, um, I'm about to do my flowers. I feel like it's so oversaturated but I'm about to do my flowers and I'm going to show y'all the vases that I got so these are the vases that I found at Goodwill I love this one I love the shape of it I think it's going to be really really cute and then I love these as well different sizes, different heights so I'm going to clean these and I'm going to put the flowers in them Y'all, I am obsessed. This is just so cute. I love this little vase. And then these, I don't know, the sun is so bright, but these are like pink little roses. These are called spring roses. So the yellow ones and the pink ones are the same thing. And I have them in this like ceramic vase. I think that's so cute. Let me show you. I put some red roses in this vase on the table. I think that's cute. I already had these red roses, so they're still doing good. So I just kept them on the table, changed the vase. I put some yellow roses right here in this little small vase. I think that's so cute. I put, this has got to be my favorite. How cute is this? Like, how cute is that? Some more yellow roses. And then over here, we got some tulips. Just sitting like on this little pillar thing. They have to bloom. All of the flowers just make the place feel so much more alive. And then I have some more tulips right here, which I'm gonna put in the bedroom. Um, a lot of y'all was telling me like tulips are toxic to dogs. Tulips are toxic to cats. So if you have a cat, beware. Okay. 
I cannot get over this. I'm not sure if tuna is a complete meal, but that's what we having for dinner. I'm boiling the eggs. I am aware that some people don't put eggs in their tuna. I like eggs in my tuna, so that's how we're going to make it. And here's the tuna. I need some um, mustard. Don't talk about my refrigerator y'all we have some mayonnaise but Deanna is going to get some more because this ain't gonna do it hey y'all good morning happy friday i'm up y'all i didn't take my vitamins yesterday i was rushing out the house to get that freaking wax and once i got back in i just completely forgot i did not take my freaking vitamins so i need to take my vitamins today I was trying to see if any of the flowers would have started blooming, but there's no sun out today, so no blooming, but they're coming. It's going to be so pretty. I can't wait, but yeah, I'm going to take my vitamins and then y'all, I'm making me a matcha. I was upstairs and I was like, I want a freaking matcha. I have these packs from when I work with this brand. Um, I worked with this brand called Peak, I believe. I'm trying to find them. I found what I was looking for. These are the matcha packs that I got. And <clears throat> yeah, I just want to find me a cute little glass. Hmm. Hmm. I have all of these glasses and still this is like my favorite one because it's so cute I got this from Walmart and it was on sale so I only have one I feel like this would be cute for matcha um I also really like this one but I don't want one with the handle um honestly y'all I think I'm gonna just go with this one yeah this is why i love youtube so much because it's like y'all get everything y'all get the setup the prep the execution me recording this tiktok is only going to be the tiktok but y'all get to see everything so these are the things that i don't want shown yet in the tiktok and then this is what our set looks like how cute and like this is how it looks on camera hold on Come on. It's kind of bright, but you can kind of see like how it looks on camera. I just, I love creating stuff. It looks so cute. I want. made the matcha now we can drink it this matcha is a little bit lighter but it's still gonna be good all right y'all today's friday i think i said that already i need to find a seamstress or somebody because i've got some pants that i think i want to wear to the vision board party but they're too big so i need them like taken in in the ways and just make them fit good um Good. Try to figure that out today. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? Yesterday was beautiful, like y'all. The sun was out yesterday. That's why I was out. Today is gloomy and rainy, and the next week's supposed to be like really, really cold. So that's that. 
Do y'all feel like y'all can only really eat chili when it's really cold outside? Because for some reason in my mind, chili goes with cold weather. Like, I'm not about to make a pot of chili when it's 100 degrees outside. Maybe that's just how I feel. Anyways, y'all, I'm about to go to Sephora. I'm going to Sephora and then. I'm trying to talk to my vlog. Hey, y'all, I haven't seen y'all like all day. I seen y'all this morning, but that's about it. What I'm trying to tell y'all is I'm going to Benihana and I'm very excited. When I was in Chicago, that was my first time trying that chili sushi roll it was bomb like bomb 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 so i'm going back i may just get like hibachi as well because you know you eat on that for like two days so i may get hibachi as well and i'm also going to sephora i think i like this little I got a spot right in the front. Honestly, I, it's not even funny, y'all. It makes no sense on. It makes no sense how much happier I am when I freaking spend money. Like, I am in such a good mood. I'm just walking with my bag <laughs> without a care in the world. They, baby, they need to wrap this up. Come on, wrap that up. Okay, it's so bright. We're here. I'm so excited. Dion went in. They said about a 10 minute wait. So, yeah. Oh, y'all. I'm so full. We're ready to go home. Hey, y'all. What is up? Happy Saturday. I am about to show y'all what I ended up getting from. Oh my God, I didn't even see she called. Hold on real quick. All right, so let me show y'all what I got. First of all, I got some samples. I don't ever remember getting like samples from Sephora. So why are y'all dark? Why are we doing this? Like, why, why are we doing this? So yeah, I got some samples from Sephora. This is Dose and Gabbana light blue and then i actually want these these are the so de janeiro bum bum cream samples i bought this new sunscreen it's a clear sunscreen stick i'm going on a vacation soon i ain't got no flight book i ain't got nothing book but i'm going on a vacation soon so i was like oh i want to get this new sunscreen i'm actually about to try this out right now it's supposed to be clear. It's supposed to just um, glide on. It looks like a little, looks like a little um, deodorant. I like that. I like the way it feels. That's cool. So yeah, I thought that was cute and cool and just, you know, like easy to just throw in your bag. The next thing I got was this fragrance from Fleur, I believe that's how you pronounce it. I got the vanilla skin. Y'all know Miss In Person, the fragrance I'm obsessed with right now is made by this brand. They came out with like these body mists. The vanilla skin smells really, really good, but I also want the, I think it's called the mango skin or mango something. Y'all, that one smells so good. It'll be like perfect, perfect, perfect for vacation. And these are only like $20. This will be cute for vacation. Just, you know, miss yourself down real quick. So, got that. And then I got this Rare Beauty Brow Harmony Precision Brow. I have just been struggling with my brows. Anytime I'm having like a makeup crisis, my makeup don't be hitting how it used to, I go buy new products. <laughs> Which is probably not the product products, it's probably the technique being me. So, I don't know. I tried this out in the store. It's soft black, so it is darker than what I'm used to. So I'm just gonna have to have a really, really light hand when applying this. But I'm excited to try that out. 
y'all i went back to the og urban decay all nighter i used to love this setting spray i don't know why i stopped using it i just stop using it because charlotte tilbury had came out and other brands came out with setting spray but i used to love this setting spray so i was like let me get me a little bottle of it this is the long lasting makeup setting spray and i just got the one ounce one i picked up this fenty beauty heat and hot cherry it's like a red i thought this was cute if you can see but it's like a red it's like ooh, a little color on the lips and y'all know i love anything that's gonna plump my lips up so this is like pretty and it plumps so yeah this this is the so de janeiro delisa drench body butter y'all this stuff smells so good they was out of the fragrance i definitely would have gotten the fragrance if they would have had it but i think these two would pair really 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 good together because this has notes of vanilla and sandalwood and then this is vanilla on vacation mm -hmm. i just decided to get the small one to see if i'm actually going to use it because i'm such a product junkie i have so many body butters so many body creams and don't be using them because it's just one me so i had the big one in my cart at first and i was like you know what let me see if i actually use this if i actually really enjoy it whatever the case may be and then afterwards if i use all of this i can get the bigger one when the sale comes for spring so that's what i told myself so yeah but this smells really good y'all i actually i'm gonna open it right now on tiktok everybody was saying this attracts spiders i hope that's not true I ain't seen no spider in this house yet, and I ain't trying to see one. But it smells so good. Like I can't believe how much I love this. Cause like I think so de Janeiro, they make pretty scents in general, but nothing like has me like, oh my god, that smells so good. Like, oh I gotta have it. But I really like this not like super duper strong either it's just like light and pretty so i got that i bought two brushes these brushes were super expensive y'all but you know we're trying to we're trying to get our makeup right so it is what it is this is the veil powder brush from hourglass i thought this was super cool it has two sides it's this side which you can use this for blush or you can use this to like get the powder from under your eyes or whatever you want to use it for you use it for that and then it has this side which is like for powder and then I bought this concealer brush oh my god I chipped my freaking nail I always say how I need to be stop being so rough with my nails and then I continue to be rough. I think this would be really, really good for applying concealer under the eye, like blending it out. I think that'd be good for that. And then the last thing I got was this Huda Beauty color corrector. I got the shade Papaya. This is just good for like when you're doing your makeup um, before you actually like apply your makeup it's orange like this orange color it's a color corrector you just put this on like your hyperpigmentation or dark spots on your face blend it out set it and then do your makeup but yeah i'm super excited to try all of this stuff out today i just got the phone with my friend Shade, so i think we're gonna go out and get hookah a little bit later so i'm happy about that because that gives me the opportunity to try out our new makeup and from H&M. H&M is like super affordable. Okay, this first pair of earrings are so cute. How cute are these freaking earrings? I think these are so cute. I think these are so, so cute. And these are only $12.99. How freaking pretty. 
Like, I love these so much. I think they're so freaking cute. And then the last pair I got, I don't know. They're different. I might take these back, to be honest, because they just, they're just really not giving anything to me. Let me know what y'all think, huh? How y'all feel about those? Got like a gold twist necklace. Very, very simple. I have procrastinated long enough. It's finally time to do this laundry restock. Y'all actually don't have the best angle, but it's okay. Let's go find something to wear. Oh, every time I walk by these two looks chuddy. They doing what they want to do. I need to probably cut them because they're definitely doing what they want to do. But they look so pretty. I love that. All right, let's go up the stairs. Good job. I like my outfit, even though my pants kind of big, I put a belt on so you really can't tell. Mm -mm -mm. I look cute, I just need to do my accessories, put some earrings on. Yeah, 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 I'm happy. Um, What fragrance should I wear? What fragrance should I wear? Um, I think I'm gonna do I think I'm gonna do these two, Ebony Wood and Angel Share. A little bit of Ebony Wood, a lot of Angel Share. So like, boom, boom, boom. Cause every time it never fails, when I wear Ebony Wood, Dion be like, you got a man cologne? <laughs> Cause it does give that masculine vibe. And then this just brings that sweetness back to it. I'm here y'all I'm waiting on Sade to let me know she's here so I can get out the car and meet her in there I just dropped my phone I'm trying to get it but yeah hey y'all happy Sunday today is Sunday so we're doing a lot of resetting today um washing dishes washing clothes just cleaning getting a house in order for the week so I'm excited about that um I really don't like cleaning up <laughs> like it's nothing that comes like natural to me like oh my god I love to clean I love to organize I'm not that girl but it's something that I want to um gain a true love for so I'm romanticizing cleaning up playing some music just getting comfortable taking my time and cleaning up so yeah that's what's happening today yesterday was cool me and Shade, we went to um octopus it's like a hookah lounge they have like food drinks they was playing like games on the tv like i think the football game yeah football game so it was a cool little vibe and then after that we went to this place called Real Tacos, where we actually went before because she wanted tacos, and it was cool. We just spent a few hours just, like, catching up and talking. It's one thing we kind of talked about, the fact that we only see each other, like, every couple months, and every time we see each other, it's like we're catching up. Y'all know I told y'all I wanted to be more intentional and more, um, I just wanted to nourish my friendships more this year, so... That's what we both agreed to do, like, at least get together, like, once a month. Even if it's just, like, me coming over to her house or her coming over to my house or 
going for a walk or just doing something just being intentional about the friendship so that was cool but yeah like i said today's sunday dia is outside washing my car so let's check on that process garage door so you have to rinse it first yeah oh this the is that my flower bucket he's cleaning the car um, but you gonna take it to the car wash to do the inside? No. Nope. Got the thing on the charger. The vacuum? That's what's going on. We supposed to work on getting this garage organized today. It's like stuff. It's not a lot of stuff in here. But it just... These are trash too, Dion. What? These two Christmas trees. Right. Like this Christmas tree needs to go back where it's supposed to be. And it's just like things everywhere like I bought this skirt from Zara I don't even know how long ago that shouldn't even be in here this shouldn't be right here it's just it's just stuff but we're supposed to work on that today I have a feeling Sebastian is at this door I knew it move you can't go out there also, y'all, look who has a new location. I decided to bring Sam in my room. Room gets a ton of natural light, so I think he likes it here. The car is clean. Period. Clean, clean, clean. Huh? Y'all, it's so pretty outside. Like, the sun is shining. It feels good out here. It's like not too cold. It just feels amazing. Um, tonight for dinner we're going to eat fish and grits because that's what I woke up wanting. So we're going to get fish and grits. And then y'all know I always got a gift card. <laughs> I got a home goods gift card. When I first moved into this townhouse I purchased the best linen sheets from home goods. So hopefully I can find another pair hopefully prayerfully because they feel so good they're so comfortable brick linen is also good sheets y'all like amazing quality sheets but i want something like right now so um yeah i'm gonna go and see if they have some so don't see what i was looking for but i kind of like this color of sheets i just need to find it maybe in my size which is a king. Hmm. So I was able to get this beautiful freaking vase. Like, I love this. Do y'all see all the texture? I love that. This was $70. I got that. And then I got... This sheet set that was forty dollars, and then I also got a tray, and I only paid ten dollars. The total was like one sixty, and I only paid ten freaking dollars. I'm I'm happy. I'm actually going to lay this down. Yeah. All right. Now we gotta go to Kroger, y'all. From Kroger, I already told y'all um, fish and grits. And then I want to grab a few more poppy if they're still on sale. They was on sale for three for five. That's like a dollar and like 66 cents. So I want to get some more of those. Okay, so we're going to move this. Oh, it's so heavy. Move on. I want to put the leaves in the nut, but I love that. Oh, I kind of like that way better, actually. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
I have my skincare like on this tray and I found this tray at home goods and it kind of like resembles so I'm going to switch this one out for this one I just came to a realization that makes me very very sad I absolutely love Prada Paradox Intense but every time I put this on it makes my hair hurt like it's too strong and it's crazy because the regular Prada Paradox I don't care for it but that one I love the way it smells but I sprayed it on today and it's just like giving me a freaking headache I hate that. I filled the tray up. Let me show you. I was going to put this on the tray, but I'm not. So this is like my skincare tray. Y'all have seen this before. And now I have this tray with like some body oils on it. Um, my fur oil. Um, some fragrances I like to wear just like throughout the day and at night after the shower y'all that flur missing person i am running through that i love flur like last night i was on tiktok and i just be randomly watching people lives and i clicked on this lady live and come to find out she was the founder of freaking flur and i was just on her live telling her how much i love her fragrances like because i really do like i want a couple more How many dry sheets do y'all be putting in? Because I be putting a lot. I look insane. I have been looking. I have been clicking saying y'all I've been like cleaning all day getting things done I think I'm about to go take me a shower uh, cuz I'm getting ready to settle down once those white clothes get from out the dryer I'm gonna make the bed and that's gonna be it for me I'm tired I'm tired I'm tired I'm tired I'm fresh out the shower I smell so good I moisturized did all the things we're about to make the sleepy girl mocktail. I made it once before, so I'm gonna make it a little bit different than how I made it before. These are the two like main ingredients, the cherry juice, and this is the moon juice magnesium. And then I'm also gonna put some collagen in it. And then the first time I made it, I did poppy. Instead of poppy, I'm gonna do sparkling water. So, so we're gonna do, um, only thing I got to do after I make this drink is 9.20. My bedtime is at 11. I've been doing a wonderful job at going to bed. On um, Friday and Saturday are my days where I'm supposed to just wild out and stay up. But since I kind of like got into a routine, girl, I be sleepy. Last night I stayed up a little late. But 
Friday, I was sleep at like 10 o'clock. So, I'm gonna make this drink. After this drink, I'm gonna load the washer. And then after that, make my bed and I'm just chill out for the rest of the night. So yeah, let's make this drink. Good morning, happy freaking Monday. I actually think today is Martin Luther King Day, so happy birthday. Um, What's going on today? I need to edit today, I really need to edit, even though I don't even think I told y'all. Why do I feel like I haven't told y'all? Hold on. So this vlog right now, I plan for this vlog to go up on Thursday. Right now, today is Monday, January 15th. I plan for the vlog to go up on Thursday. And then after Thursday, y'all probably won't see a vlog until sometime in February because I need a little break. So originally, originally after Vlogmas, I told myself I was gonna take January off just to get my mind right, get my mind together and just, you know, come back and be good. Obviously, I did not do that. So. Now I'm like, you know what, I'm going to, because it's just so much going on. Y'all know I got this event, and it's been kicking my ass. Like, constantly thinking about every single last thing that I need, making sure everything is right. It's just been very, 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 very overwhelming. Um, I can't find nothing to wear. And then that, just on top of, like, my everyday life, I just got a lot going on right now. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna take a break. Um, I'm gonna take a break so when I come back in February, I can come back with the energy. You know what I mean? So that's what I decided to do, and I'm excited about it. I'm probably still gonna vlog here and there, but just not edit and upload until February. So I'm excited because I just feel like I it's the new year, and I'm not with the new year energy, energy how I want to be. If that makes sense to y'all, like I just. I don't know. It's just it's just, it's just not what I want. Y'all may not see nothing wrong with it, and that's cool. I love that, but I just know how I want my content to be. I know what I'm trying to do this year. I got goals, and I just really did not want to start off this way. I feel like I'm just I just got too much going on. That's that's what it is. Like it's just too much going on. So I'm gonna take a little breaky break, um, and it ain't gonna be that long because right now, like I said. It's January 15th, so probably like two, three weeks. Think about going to a coffee shop because, girl, I'm like, let me calm down. I didn't think that, you know, I like coffee. <clears throat> there was a point in time where I was disgusted by coffee and I can't believe it. Like, I actually, I just think that I was, I was young and I want, wanted to drink coffee. It was something that had to grow on me. I love coffee now, y'all. Like, I love coffee. I love the taste of coffee. I would actually love to do like a coffee tasting. How you do like wine tasting. I think that'd be really cool. Long story short, my Nespresso machine needs to be descaled. I don't have the solution to descale it. I can't figure out any ways around it, girl. I want some coffee so bad. It's sad. It's actually it's actually pretty sad. So I think I'm gonna go to a coffee shop. I want to try to find a new one. I went to one with my friend Kobe one time called Bloom. The coffee was so good, but I really didn't like how intimate the actual space was, but the coffee there was so freaking good. I don't know. I'm going to try to probably find like a new one to go to. Right now, I'm about to look up a coffee shop. I need to take my vitamins. Thank you, God, for reminding me. I need to take my vitamins. But, um... Yeah, coffee shops near me. I just want some good coffee and a good little vibe where I can go edit, look for some music. I haven't looked for music in so freaking long. I'm truly about to give up. I have been 
trying to find a parking spot for so long. The parking is small here and it's just not a lot. Excuse me. I'm in this parking deck. I'm just going to leave from out of here. Um, if I can't find a parking spot out there, I'm going home. This is annoying me so bad. Like, so, so bad. I just, I can't find a spot. I've been looking and looking and looking and looking. Okay, where are you going, babe? This is a nightmare. Like, no exaggeration. A freaking nightmare. There's no parking at all. I think this is an apartment complex. Should I just park here? I mean, just park here. Lord, Please don't let my car get booted or towed. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Alright, so the coffee shop was cool. I don't know if I'll go back there because the parking was trash and the coffee was trash, y'all. I had to force myself to drink that freaking coffee. So with all that being said, I'm about to go to the mall to go to Nespresso to get the descaling solution. Um, because yeah, I just I need my coffee. I like the way I make it at home. Um I'm still gonna go to different coffee shops and try out different coffee shops because I really just like that vibe and I like the fact that they sold real food there so that was cool as well it was just the coffee itself was not here um so I don't know if I'll go back there This is so cute. This is so cute. Y'all, this brings back the vibes. Pure seduction and then love spell. I'm trying to fight temptation and not buy this, but oh my goodness. Maybe I'll ask for it for Valentine's Day. I don't know if y'all seen people on TikTok and Twitter trying out the ice cream with the olive oil and the salt, but I want to try that out. Oh y'all, I'm back home and I'm just so happy to be back home. Whew. So let me show y'all what I got. You know, the whole reason why I even went to the mall was to go to Nespresso. Got some decaffeinated pods, cause sometimes I just be wanting coffee without the caffeine i don't want the energy and all of that so i got some caffeinated pods so got some more double espresso pods because these are the ones that i run through the most because i absolutely love these this is what i went for the descaling but i went for the descaling solution and then i also stopped by um the apple store y'all i've been thinking about getting like an imac but I just don't know. I don't know if I'll actually use it. Like, I tell myself I will because I'm like, that's why I got an office to, you know, be in it. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. But yeah, I went to go look at those. And then I got some earbuds because I needed some. I have some regular earbuds that plug up into my phone. But I needed some with this type of jack. I don't know if I can see it. 
But I needed some with that type of jack to plug up into my um, computer. So I got these. And yeah, let's try to figure out how to descale this Nespresso machine because honey, I need the coffee. Hopefully, I'm doing this right. I think I am, so we'll see. That's the descaling solution. Here it is, it's working. I'm so excited, y'all. I'm so, oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy, I'm so happy. I'm absolutely not about to drink that coffee right now. I'm just gonna put it in the refrigerator for in the morning, but thank you. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. So yeah, this is your sign to descale your Nespresso machine because it will not work. Hey y'all, it's nighttime. It's evening. I thought maybe we could do some skincare. I wanna phone my friends and we just all decided to do skincare, so. I thought I would do some with y'all too. This is the Rolled Peptide. What is this called? The Rolled Peptide Lip Treatment. I like this. It's cool. I want to use my Dior Face Mask tonight, y'all. Because why not? So, I want to use this face mask tonight. I'm so excited. I haven't used it um, since I bought it for myself for Christmas. So, tonight's the night. Cleanser. The Chanel. I was going back and forth whether or not I like the Dior or the Chanel more. I like the Chanel more and I've been using this pretty often so I like this. For eye cream, I'm just going over like some of my skincare faves right now. Eye cream, I use this Youth to the People Peptides Plus C Energy Concentrate. I've been loving these two road products. This is the Glazing Milk. I don't really know what it does. It gives my face a nice little shine after I do my um, cleanser. So I really like that. And then this is the glazing fluid. So like both of these products. What else? What else? What else? What else? I like this too. This is the Great Skin Instant Glow Serum from Merit or Merit. Yeah, I think it's Merit. I'm gonna cleanse my face with the. Chanel and then we're gonna go in and we're gonna try out this face mask. I'm excited. Y'all, that Dior mask was so nice. Like, it was really, really nice. It, it, it's the bra. <laughs> I really enjoyed that face mask, the exfoliating mask. It felt so good. If you're looking for an exfoliating mask, if you want to spend a cute little coin, something that's going, it's going to last for a long time because it's a lot of product and you only need a little bit at a time. It feels so good. Like, my skin feels so good. Buttery, buttery baby soft i really enjoyed that and then i followed up with a whole bunch of like my regular stuff i did a snail mucin tonight um i put my eye cream on i got my lip stuff on like i just feel good i feel great actually so yeah all right i came downstairs so we can try the whole ice cream olive oil salt situation how cute how freaking cute. I bought these specifically for ice cream. So cute. I do not have the flaky salt. So if I like it with the regular salt that I have, then I'll go to Whole Foods and try to find some flaky salt. But we're gonna try it out. 
really like this brand of ice cream. Mayfield is super good. And y'all, I love homemade vanilla ice cream. Not vanilla bean. Um, what's another type of vanilla? French vanilla, none of that. Homemade vanilla ice cream is my jam. Okay, got the olive oil. So we have the ice cream in. Why did I just shake the olive oil? I don't know. I don't know how much to put. Oh, Ooh, if y'all have tried this. I feel like I should try this since I want to go to Spain. You know, why are y'all so low? Here we go. Mm. It's not bad at all. It's actually pretty good. It's like... You know how you bake some chocolate chip cookies and you might sprinkle like a little bit of salt on top of the chocolate chip cookie just to make the chocolate pop? That's what the salt does for the vanilla ice cream. It just makes the vanilla pop. And then the olive oil just makes it like super creamy and super rich. Mmm. It's good. It's all gone, y'all. That was good. Good morning y'all good morning good morning good morning i'm in such a great mood this morning i have been up since like maybe about 4 50. y'all are sliding <laughs> it started off by me just waking up to use the restroom and then i just kind of stayed up and when dion woke up to go to work i just woke up and started making a bed um played with sebastian a little bit did my skincare um then I came down here and I did not like tidy up the kitchen before I went to bed last night so I did that and what else did I do that was about it I just had a really slow morning and I want more slow mornings in 2024 because this is this is what I'm talking about like just being able to be up before all the I hope y'all can hear those sirens to be up before all of the noise of the world starts before the sun is up and just everything else i want more of that in 2024 so i'm up i'm in a great mood i made me i think that's the last thing y'all seen me do was make some lemon water i want to prioritize drinking lemon water most people say um uh, like room temperature water but y'all i am not a fan of room temperature water it's just 
not my thing and I'm also gonna drink this green juice and then I'm gonna have my coffee of course because y'all know y'all know y'all know y'all know I'm very excited about my freaking coffee I have to do some work today it's 8 45 now if y'all were wondering so I need to do some work today because I've already um, explained to you all that I'll be taking like a break but I do have a sponsorship due so I'm going to try to put it in the beginning of this video so I need to record it and get it sent over today so I can have um, this video hopefully up by Thursday for you all and then I can just take my break in peace I don't have to worry about you know getting any sponsorships or anything done it's with scams and I'm in a season of just like sitting in my blessings. I'm so blessed to be able to work with them. Looking back on my vision boards in the past, Skims was a brand that was on my vision board. So not only being able to work with them once, twice, or three times, but multiple times means so much to me. And from my understanding how sponsorships work, Brands only come back and they want to continue to work with you if they're getting something from it. So I want to thank you all so much for supporting me, for believing me, because I know it's this whole thing where people feel like content creators or influencers, you know, just say anything for a dollar. And I want y'all to know that's not me. That will never be me. It's just not... I'm not, I'm not taking every sponsorship that's sent to my email. I want y'all to know that I definitely only work with brands I believe in, that I trust, that I love, that I would recommend to my sister or my mom or my best friend. I'm not out here just trying to sell, you know, anything to you all for a quick dollar. Like, that's not what I'm here for at all. Yeah, I just want to say thank y'all so much because that means so much to me like seriously it really really does so it really really do so if you're looking for some new bras girl hit up skims and this part isn't sponsored the beginning of the video if it's in the beginning of the video hopefully it's in the beginning of the video but if it is that part is sponsored this is not but you all the bras are so good the bras are so good comfortable durable dependable if you have rolls, they're not going to crease all in. Like, it's, they're just so good. They're, they're genuinely good bras. And I'm very happy that I was able to get this sponsorship because I've never, I, I want to say in my life, I'm 29 years old. Until now, I don't think I've actually had any good quality supportive bras in my life. I would just go buy a bra, a random bra from maybe like, Target or Walmart you know just to put a bra on so I didn't know what to look for in a in a good bra or what not to look for or what's too small or what's too big or you know I didn't know so working with a brand that has great quality bras not only for plus size women but for everybody it's just amazing so I love that I just want to say thank y'all but so yeah I need to get ready for that obviously when it comes to like my sponsorships I like to you know put my makeup on fix myself make me look presentable because the thing about it is y'all don't know I don't know who be watching these videos you know what I mean like I don't want to just be like you know I want to put my best foot forward so they'll want to continue to work with me and other brands can see it and want to work with your girl too so yeah, I'm just, I'm just so blessed and I'm just so happy and I just, I really thank and praise God, seriously. Like, when I take this break, it's really just going to be a time for me to get closer to God. Um, I brought a Bible months ago from Hobby Lobby. It's this pink Bible. It's like, I'm going to get this Bible because I really want to, you know, get into the Bible. I have not read the Bible yet. I haven't even opened it up. I keep it in my nightstand, but I haven't opened it up and got into it. And it's because I just don't know where to start. But I also haven't, I haven't um, wanted to do it because just like I TikTok, YouTube, Google, everything else, I can do that as well. But I'm going to be very intentional about that during this time when I'm gone. I also bought a book at the beginning of the year, like on January 1st, I ordered it um, called Atomic Habits because YouTube was recommending it to me. I mean, not YouTube, but um, Amazon was recommending it to me. And I was 
seen a few people with it. I seen Shelly with it and a bunch of people like on TikTok. I was a firm believer in I don't do like self help, self care, all those type of books, but. I, I don't know. I don't want to be that person that just say, oh, that's not for me or I'm not into that. I want to try it out and just see what it's about. I heard it's an amazing book. What really made me purchase the book, though, like I said, I kept seeing it on Amazon. I've seen a few people talk about it, but what really made me want to purchase it is somebody said on TikTok that it really helped them with like their spending habits and knowing why they spend money the way they do. And y'all know... <sighs> I, I have a really like I just love to spend money I truly do like I don't care if I'm in Dollar Tree or if I'm at the mall I just want to buy something and it, it's got to be something deeper behind that because girl what's tea like what's up I just really want to get deep into myself like just figure Chelsea out see what's going on just touch bases with inner me you know what I mean so yeah, that's what I'll be doing. But as of now, I'm getting ready to do my makeup. And I'll take y'all down there with me because we can do it together. Because y'all know I bought that new makeup from Sephora. And that day when I went out with Sade, I was supposed to do it. But I didn't because I was rushing. Today, we have nothing to do. We, we practically have all day. I don't have to be anywhere. I don't really have anything going on other than the fact that I need to record that sponsorship. So... The world is our oyster. We want to take our time, do our makeup, and just have at it. So, yeah, let me sit here. I've been kind of editing this vlog as I go to see how long it's going to be. Because since this is the last vlog for a couple of weeks, I want to make sure it's a good, a good length for you all. Um, so, yeah, that's what's going on. I'll be back. I've been missing action. I was on the phone with my best friend's mom for like two hours. We was just catching up talking because I haven't talked to her since probably like before Christmas. So we had to catch up. I did my eyebrows. I know they look kind of crazy right now, but I think I'm going to like them. I actually sat here, y'all, while I was on the phone and I plucked out hairs because I want like a thinner brow. Like I'm really just trying to change my makeup and perfect my makeup at the same time like i just want a different look so i think i like these brows and what i did was i'm not sure if y'all remember but i had a moment where i was absolutely obsessed with this kosis what is it called air brow like i love this stuff and for no reason at all i just stopped using it i i don't know why but i was just sitting here playing with stuff. I had some makeup right here. So I was like, let me try this out again. So I just went in and I filled my brows in with it. It's just like a mascara one. So you just go up and it's like tinted brown. As you can see, it's like just dark tinted brown. And then I took the Rare Beauty pencil and I just kind of like filled in the tail of my eyebrows. And that was it. I put some concealer at the bottom and I like them. Well, hey, Sebastian. Hey, boo. Haven't seen him in hours. He must have just walked back up. Good morning. Good morning. You ready to eat? You ready to eat? You want to eat? Your eyes kind of scare me. He has freaking human eyes. And sometimes when we be like staring at each other, I be like, can you talk? Like. Let me know. I'm going to go feed him. And then I'm going to go upstairs to my closet room. I'm going to get. Because I didn't want to use the primers I had down here. I wanted a different primer. So I'm going to use. Um, I'm, I'm going to get some makeup. And come back down here. And we're going to do our makeup. I, got, I received this package from Kosis. Um, crazy. Ironic enough. I just used the Kosis brow again. I haven't used in months. But they sent me three of their. Okay, yeah, that wasn't smart. They sent me three of their new concealers, and I kind of like swatched them right there because I do want to try them out. So I like all three of these shades, actually. I don't know which one I'm going to end up going with. And then the package also came with this. It's called the Dreamy Cloud Set. This gives me the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder vibes like look at that 
that's the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder. That's the Dreamy Cloud. So they look super similar. I'm excited to try it out. And then they also sent me a little beauty blender. Yeah, we're going to try out this new stuff. I got some stuff from Smashbox too. I'm going to bring that down too because they sent me a PR package too. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to bring that down. I'm going to feed him and I'll, I'll be back. All right, let me show y'all what I brought down. I brought down this Milk Hydro Grip Spray. I brought the Milk Hydro Grip. This stuff is so good. Everybody loves this stuff, including myself. But I also recently purchased this Elf Jelly Pop Dew Primer. People love this stuff. And I feel like it was like a limited edition. Um, and people just really love it. Like people really, really like this stuff. They say it's like really, really good. Better than the milk one. So I kind of want to try this out. Let me know if you've tried this out. It's one size blush. Looks like that. I probably won't use this. I honestly don't really like the colors, but we'll see. Milani Make It Last Setting Powder. It's just like a white setting powder. I think this is the foundation I'm going to use today. The NARS Make It Matte, or what is it called? NARS Soft Matte. I really used to love that foundation i thought i'd run down the one size setting spray i guess i left it up there but i want to bring that down too because that just sets your makeup like no other and this was a package i got from um smashbox i don't think i shared this with you I think it's cute. Ooh, then just seamless. I love it. I can't wait to get my lashes done, y'all. My appointment is on the 25th. Today's like the 16th. But I needed a little break, so I'm not mad. I'm running out of storage. I was saying I'm pretty satisfied with my makeup. Um, I really like how the base looks. My eyebrows, I'm still working on them. I'm still trying to perfect my perfect brow. So, bear with me, girl. Now that my makeup is done, I'm about to clean up my mess. And then I'm going to record the Skims sponsorship portion. Edit that. And I want to get that sent over because I really, 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 really want to get that approved. I took Sebastian outside. He played around. And now he's whining because he want to go outside again. He acting like it's not 28 degrees out there. Like, having a dog? Ooh, girl. It's 28 degrees. In some places like Chicago, it's like negative 3 degrees. Shelly, are you walking Milo? No, 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 you're not walking Milo. Milo wears a diaper. Girl, I was about to say, it's cold. What about you, Sunny? Because I know it's cold there too, girl. I'm trying to think about... Everybody I watched that I know got a dog. It's cold. Pray for us dog parents. I have to go out my dog. I'll take y'all with us. Matter of fact, we'll just go to the, I'll, I'll take him to the dog park. Come on, outside. Come on, Sebastian. Ooh. 
It's so cold. Do y'all see my smoke? It's so cold. Sebastian over there humped over. <laughs> Ooh, it's so cold. I'm standing like directly where the sun is at. Okay, let me go pick his poop up. I just finished um, recording and editing the sponsored portion for the beginning of this vlog. I'm tired. I want a little nap. It's 3.02. I'm tired. I kind of think I could. Y'all remember that stuff I got from H&M? I love these earrings. They're so cute. But I was about to say I can go return that stuff to H&M, but I honestly don't even know if I feel like doing that, I need to see if we got any ground beef because y'all know the weather drop a little low, it's chili time. So I'm thinking chili tonight with grilled cheese. That's what I'm thinking. Ooh, I'm about to record a TikTok. So I guess I can prop y'all up so y'all can see too. I seen um, Natasha do this TikTok yesterday where she was basically just like, trying on all her old MAC lipsticks and baby mm-hmm I still have mine I want to try mine on I want to see like what they're giving so these are the ones I could find one thing y'all need to know about me is I've always been a collector of things whether it's lipsticks Stanley cups um pens pencils i just love things so these are all the ones i could find and i'll probably do like a part one and a part two because this is a lot of lipsticks and then in here we got some limited edition ones this used to be my favorite y'all this purple gloss from the simpsons collection obsessed so yeah that's the video i'm gonna do i'm gonna prop y'all up so y'all can watch too all right i got y'all right here i got my camera right here i don't know i'm using my back camera so i don't know what it's giving Hopefully it's given, but I can't tell. So we're just gonna start recording. Let me... I'm not sure who started this trend, but I seen Tasha do it and I wanna do it too. She was trying on a bunch of her old MAC lipsticks and y'all, I have a bunch. So I want to try them on. The years between 2012 and like 2017, 2018, I was a wild girl. I used to wear the pinks, the purples, the browns, the nudes. No liner. I want to try it on now to see like what is given. Let's wipe this off. First lipstick. This used to be my shit. This is Smoke Purple by Matt. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Oh, it's so dry. Is this a this is a matte lipstick? And I'm sure they're all expired. Mm. Okay, the way this lipstick used to have me in a chokehold, like, why? What used to be your favorite MAC lipstick? Let me know. This is Pink Novel or Nouveau. Pink Nouveau is bright. No way. I mean, maybe with a liner. And y'all, I used to wear this because, like, she's almost gone. With a liner, maybe. I... And moving on. Girl, this is Ruby Woo. This is a, a coat favorite. I can't even twist it up because there's nothing in there. Honestly, I would still wear Ruby Woo right with the liner, of course. What's it giving? With the liner and glossy, eat down. I think it'll be really cute. <laughs> okay, who's next? This used to be my shit. This is called Sin. Sin is one of those like burgundy, dark reds. Ugh. Very dry. I'm not mad at this color. Pulling more so like brown though than it is like a burgundy. I'm gonna need a new makeup wipe. 
this was another one of those like cult favorites. I don't know why us dark skinned girls was wearing this because I feel like we had other options. But this is Velvet Teddy. Even with the liner, I'm not doing it. I don't like this. <laughs> no, it's a no for me. I'm gonna end this off with another coat favorite. My girl, my girl, my girl. Miss Heroin. Oh, the chokehold. Heroin had on us needs to be studied. Oh, 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 oh. This, oh. It's just taking me back. I obviously would not wear this with the lip liner, with the gloss, any type of way now because it's just, I'm not into a purple lipstick. But honey, this, this back in 2016, was I wearing this in 2016? I forget what year it was, but this used to be my shit. Like I loved this lipstick like i used to wear her down on a random day i used to wear this lipstick back in the day when i just used to wake up and do my makeup for fun like not going nowhere just doing my makeup y'all remember those vibes we need to get back to that like let's just do our makeup and let's wear eyeshadow y'all wear eyeshadow i ain't gonna wear eyeshadow because i don't know how to really do eyeshadow but yeah makeup was this is when makeup was super fun Glitter lids, winged eyeliner, bold lips. So yeah, if you enjoyed this, definitely make sure you tell me to do a part two because I have like 20 more lipsticks in front of me. We could do a part two. Let me know. This was fun. We need to, y'all need to start some more trends. Look at this. <laughs> Insane. Absolutely. Let me take this off my lips. Like this shit is not super expired. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. I woke up a little stuffy. Like, we need to nip that in the bud. So, I'm going to see what I have. I know I probably have um, something. And I am currently so making some tea. It's steeping right now. I'm using the um, Positive Energy Tea. I really like that one. It's Sweet Tangerine. You know... I'll be honest, I know why I'm stuffy. It's 13 degrees outside. I slept with the heater on, but I also had the fan on. I don't know, y'all. Like, I don't know what it is about the fan, but I just need it on. I think more than the air circulation, it's the sound. Like, I just need it. But this is what I found. I found some Tylenol cold and flu, alcohol free. And then I also found this day quill. Vapor cool severe cold and flu congestion. I feel like I'm a little congested, so I think I'm gonna go with this. And I don't have the little nozzle that came with it, so we're gonna use a little espresso cup. Um, I'm also trying to make a TikTok. Yeah, I'm trying to get in my TikTok bag. I'm, I'm just it's 2024. How much longer are you gonna sleep on yourself? You know, but you know what? It's kind of difficult. I just have to get used to my back camera not being able to see myself oh maybe i can use y'all let me see that's like my biggest thing right now not being able to see myself murder 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 I'm making a TikTok and doing my vlog at the same time because, yeah. So, I don't know. We just gonna. I feel about that much should be good. So, cheers. Cheers to you and cheers to you. <sighs> Wasn't bad at all. Ooh, it feel like it's like opening up my insides. Ooh. <laughs> mm. So, I'll take some more of this like, 
I don't know. When? As needed. Shit, I don't know. Mm. But I have my tea. In the mornings, I like to do the sweet um, tangerine, which is the positive energy tea. So. Let's see. Hopefully, it's not too hot. <sighs> It's perfect. I put the right amount of honey. I was going to do two packets, but something was like, do one pack, and it's perfect. I'm just remembering. I didn't give y'all an update on yesterday. Y'all, I did not make chili. Nope. Not at all. I actually ate Wendy's, and I lay in the bed all night. I was so tired. If you gonna wake up that early, you're definitely going to sleep early. It's no way you can stay up all night waking up that early. You, like, my body was so tight, but I had an extremely productive day yesterday. And my TikTok is doing pretty good. Trying on lipsticks. Um, it's doing pretty good, so that's exciting. I'm just... When it comes to TikTok, it's just going to be a random app for me. I'm just going to post whatever the fuck i want to post i think at first i was thinking about it too much like oh you need to choose whether you want to do just um cute like aesthetic home things or if you want to do like daily vlogs or if you want to do this if you want to do that i'm gonna do whatever the fuck i want to do on there you know what I mean? I'm just going to do whatever I want to do. So if it's random, it's random. Whoever watches it, watches it. And that's just what it's going to be. You know, I'm not going to continue to overthink shit. Because it's not that serious. Like, it's just not... It's not that serious. So one day, I might give you a fucking refrigerator tour. And the next day, we might do a shot with me at Target. Don't think about it too much. Just, like, for real, 2024... We're letting things flow effortlessly. Effortlessly. No effort. You know what I mean? We just... No, I'm not about to do that. I'm not about to do that. Because just be in my head so much. Like, oh, nitpicking and doing this and doing that. And it's like, girl. Post the content. You know what I mean? That's what I've been doing. And I've been enjoying it. Cheers to that. You know what I mean? I'm going to end this vlog because, oh, girl, this vlog has been going on for, like, a long time now. Like, no cap. Mm. I think a part of me don't want to say bye because I know I'm taking a little break and I'm kind of sad about it. <sighs> I don't know. Follow me on TikTok. I'm sure I'll be posting on there. Um, and I won't be gone long. Just till February. We're halfway through January, so. Yeah. The light just went dead, so I'm going to go. I love y'all. Thank y'all for supporting me. Thank y'all for watching me. Thank y'all for being here. If you are new here, please consider subscribing. I love each and every one of y'all. And I'll see y'all in February. Bye.